What are the areas where artificial intelligence can be used in your business? I help organizations understand how they can use artificial intelligence and then I help them design strategies around this. So I've worked with big global companies like Shell, uh, I've worked with government organizations like the UN to help them make better use of their data and use AI. And when I do this, we tend to look at four specific areas that I think is really useful to explore when you want to understand how AI is relevant to your own organization. So the first one is where we look at how can we use artificial intelligence to make better use of our data and understand trends. So we now live in a world of big data. We have more data than ever before. Less than 1% of all the data that organizations have is ever used, let alone used to inform any meaningful decision making. So what AI allows you to do is to run on your data and see are there any important patterns. So without you consciously saying, is this a business question, this is how I analyze it, let's say who are my most profitable customers, the AI can do some of this with for you. So modern cloud computing infrastructure already has the capability to, to basically automate some of your analysis. And this will happen more and more that AIs will pick up certain trends. If you're a retailer, for example, they might say, okay, there are certain products that seem to go up. More people want to buy toilet paper now. More people want to buy biscuits. Alcohol sales are going up and down. Without you having to actively look for this. And this is becoming increasingly important. So AI can automate your insights from data. The second area is where AI can help you provide better, more intelligent and personalized services. This is actually linked to the first one because if you have better customer insights, a better customer understanding, this then allows you to provide intelligent services. So if you think about companies like Amazon, they are using the insights and the data they're collecting to automatically recommend the best products to you. Netflix does something similar. They are getting more and more intelligent. So they're not only recommending a particular film because you like to watch it, they are now trying to fine tune this and say, is this the right time where you would normally watch the film? And they might also even give you a, a tile that is more attractive to you. So for example, if you like Robert De Niro, and you have watched lots of films with Robert De Niro, and they're now saying this film might also be interesting in, but the poster hasn't got him on the title, on the, on the poster because he only plays a tiny little role in it, they might give you a different tile as a preview to say, okay, this makes it more enticing for you to watch. So we want more of this. We want more personalized services that are customized for, to the needs that we have in any given point in time, and AI enables that. The third one is where we use artificial intelligence to make our products more intelligent and smarter. So we now have AI built into our phones, into our TVs, into our cars, into our watches, and so on. And what I predict is that soon we will have AI in almost all products that you can imagine. I already see this with toothbrushes. You now have and a toothbrush that uses artificial intelligence and sensors to see how well you've brushed your, to your teeth. And you, up, you can then use your app to see which part of your mouth you need to clean a bit better. We now have this in cars that are becoming increasingly autonomous. At the moment, they're helping us to detect blind spots, watch what is going on around us, make sure we stay in the lane. In the future, they will drive for us. So. All products from toasters to fridges that can now understand what's within them and can make recommendation of what wines to use with the food you're planning to make to yoga mats that give you feedback on your positions automatically are now using artificial intelligence. And soon a product without this intelligence will simply find it difficult to compete. The fourth area where artificial intelligence can be used in business is to optimize your business processes and streamline, line that, streamline them and, and automate parts of your organization. If you think about this, AI can now be used to 
make machines intelligent and they can do work for you. So we have intelligent robots that are even aware of their surroundings. If you have ever seen uh, the latest iPhone factory or car factory, you realize that all of this is being automated. But this now happens across the supply chain where warehouses are automated, production plants are automated, the deliveries are automated. Where I live, we regularly get robot deliveries of our grocery. They are little self-driving autonomous robots that come to our house and deliver the shopping. So this will happen more and more that we are thinking about how do we improve and automate our business processes. And it's not only our physical process, but also our more clerical managerial tasks. We now have robotic process automation that is enabled by artificial intelligence. So if you run a call center, for example, and someone rings in with a particular problem and then what then happens is that the call center operator needs to go onto a certain database, pull up this document, go somewhere else, pull this up, compare them and then give you the answer. We now have artificial intelligence that can watch what is happening and if these patterns emerge over time, say this is the same problem, the same kind of processes you need to do, the same data you need to copy across, they can do this for you. I sometimes think it's similar to my emails. When I receive an email about a speaking engagement, for example, I can already predict the kind of response I will send, then the kind of forwards and backwards, where's the event, how many people, and so on. If I have an intelligent AI watching me for a month, they can automate this. So increasingly, businesses are now looking at how they can do this. So they are the four areas of, of any business where you should really seriously consider AI for. And use it, making more intelligent decisions, um, smarter services, more intelligent products, and more intelligent business operations. Hopefully this was useful. If you want to learn more about any of these, head to my YouTube channel, subscribe, or head to my website where you can find hundreds of articles.